at the base of Copper Mountain. If skiers want to make a beer run without leaving the run. So this is it. Megan Mooney with the 10 Barrel Brewing Company says this. Just hit the slopes. It's been to a couple of different resorts. Is a brand new way to do it. With a customized bar attached to the back. It's called the Beer Cat. We can fit three half barrels, which are a regular size keg in there. A 1987 LMC Snowcat. Two, you know, sticks in the front, right track, left track, gas pedal. That's been retrofitted and designed to serve three types of 10 barrel beer. Three taps, a cooler. Anywhere on the ski hill. We can go anywhere a regular Snowcat goes. And while the Beer Cat isn't huge, it's been built for efficiency with a bar that's got three sides for three times the service. Each side folds out. We've got three sides. So on a nice sunny day like today, we'd have all three sides open. It's just starting to get on track. It just got finished end of January. By offering a beer not only from a can, but right out of the cat. It definitely tastes better coming out of the beer cat. And is making rounds all over Colorado for anyone looking to buy the next round. Yeah, it's great. Megan says stopping at Copper. Our next stop is going to be Aspen. And then taking off to see what else is on tap. Plenty of time to catch the beer cat. Uh, uh, the beer cat. This idea was uh, from a guy named Mike Bassett who used to be a professional snowboarder. He custom made the beer cat and now it's on this national tour. It was in Oregon. It's been at Copper for the past few days. It's up on the trailer uh, because they're today going to haul it off to Aspen and then on the 16th it'll be at Eldora if you want to catch up with the beer cat and Gary and Anusha, you know, uh, uh, what about 45 minutes ago I was saying it was too cold uh, to, to enjoy a frosty beer, but I've come up with the solution. Got the koozie uh, from the uh, beer cat. Meow, this is service. That is oh. service. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Man, okay. they could have used that on I-25 on Wednesday, yeah. I'm telling you. No one would have complained <laughs> about being Can stuck you on the imagine? highway. <laughs> Right? Can you imagine the business they would have done? No one would have wanted to leave. <laughs> yeah. They would have been sold out. <laughs> yeah, nowhere to go anyway. All right. Thank you much for that. <laughs>